Hey everybody, this is Hunt, and today we're going to cover how to make an email signature with company branding that you can then send out to all the employees so that everybody's email will be consistent. Each employee will be able to edit theirs to put in their own picture and their own contact, but you'll be able to create a template that has all the company branding that you want. So in this video today, I'm going to show you the four-step process of how to do that. And in the, in the links below, you'll see some information on how to download the sample instructions and the sample templates that we're going to be covering here. In addition to that, there's also a link to a video that's designed just for the employees to follow as they're using that template to personalize it. So basically, this is going to be covering how to do the entire thing from beginning to end. There's only four main steps to it. You're going to create the template. You're going to create the instructions. You're going to send it out to everybody. And at the end, I'll show you a trick on how to track that everybody did it properly. So here we go. So step one is going to be creating a company template from a template. So I have an example that I'll show you, but there, as I said, there's, there's links in there that you can pick different templates, but the same process would apply to all. Now I'm going to be walking through the instructions step by step here. If you want to, you can download the sample instructions from the YouTube channel link below or from the article on the Network People site as well. Okay, so now we have a sample template and we're going to modify this template to be the company's template. So the thing to remember is this template is for each employee. So you want to leave all the placeholders for their mobile, the direct, their name, their title, their picture. All of that stays the same. All we need to do in this step is put in anything that's going to be consistent for the company for all people. So in this case, for example, you might be changing the company phone number to what you need it to be up here. If there's a company-wide email like info that you want to use, you could put that in here. But this is generally for each employee. And then down in the street address, you'd obviously make an update to that. And then when it comes to the logo, you'd click on this. You'd click right click, change picture, device, and then go get the company logo, in this case here, and you would insert it. And you can size the logo however you like it to be. The next step after changing the logo is to change the company URL for the website. So here's a power tip. Anytime you're putting in a website address, always go to a browser, navigate to that site address, highlight the address, copy it, and paste it. Don't ever type it in because you might make a mistake, and that's one sure way to make sure that it's got the right address. So let's follow that technique for the next step. Go to your company website, pick the page you want everybody to go to if they click on that in your signature, and copy it, and it will modify the template with that. All right, so now we're going to edit the URL for the website for the company. I'm going to click Edit Hyperlink. It's already highlighted here, so you can do Control V. Up at the top, you can change how it's displayed, so you can get rid of that if needed, or you can change it to whatever wording you'd like. And then you say OK. Now the next step is to look at your Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. If you don't have any of these or just a few, you want to click on the ones you don't have. Let's say you didn't have Twitter and you'd hit delete key to get rid of it. If you have a company Twitter account and you want that to be used for everybody, then you're going to want to modify it. Same thing for Facebook and LinkedIn. So let's do one just so you can see how that would work. You click on the icon, you hit right click, edit link. And in this case, uh, just like we did before, you'd navigate to your Facebook page copy the URL and then paste it in here and then say OK. You then navigate to your LinkedIn page, copy the URL, edit this link, paste it in here. And that's how you update all three of these if you have something for the company. Now if you don't, this would be for each individual, then leave it the way it is and each individual will follow these steps and they will have instructions on how to do that when they come to their part as well. OK, so the next step is to write instructions that you will then be sending out to everybody in the company. And we're going to send these instructions out right in the same email that has the template. So you're basically going to send everybody an email that has instructions and the template, and they'll follow it. So let's walk through creating a custom version of these instructions for your company. And again, remember that the link to this document is below on the YouTube channel, or it's also linked to in the article on the Network People site. So what we want to do next is modify this part of the instructions that will be going out to the employees. So you'll see here there's a placeholder email signature, we want to get rid of that. So what you want to do is move your mouse over it until this little square shows up. Click on that, right click, and click Cut. That gets rid of that template. Now go up to the top of the document, assuming you did it here, just like I did. You want to click on that again, 
This time you want to hit Control C, and then you want to move down right here and plop it in with a Control V. If you need an extra space, just do that. All right, so these are the instructions here that the employees will be following to modify this template. There's a video that walks them through how to do that, and we'll walk you through how to do that. So we're not going to cover that in this section, but it's in the playlist, and it's also referenced in the article. But these are the instructions that we'll be sending to the employees. We're just going to look through it real quickly. So here's the link to the how-to video. Here's the step-by-step. -step. It also includes how to change the profile picture to a circle if they want. And then it also shows them how to change the contact information. And then it also walks them through, and this is key, how to create an Outlook signature using that template. So what we want to do now is we want to send these instructions out to everybody in the company. So what you want to do is highlight this entire set, starting up at the top. So let's highlight it. I'm going to hold down my Shift key and hit the page down. Just page through until I get near the bottom. I'm going to use my arrow key to go down and copy that. And then I'm going to hit Control C. Be sure and communicate with everybody ahead of time before you send them this template and instructions so they kind of know what's coming. Assuming that's been done, now that you have the email ready, let's walk through how to send it out. All right, so at this point, we have the template and instructions in an email that we're getting ready to send out to the entire company. The next step is to draft the subject line, and we want to put something in there that has a deadline. For example, email signature template for company branding. Please complete by Friday. Next, we want to send that off to everybody in the company. And we're just about ready to send it off. All right, so the next step is going to be tracking that everybody gets the email, makes the updates, and then sends you a sample email with their new signature in it so that you can see that they did it and see what it looks like. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom of the instructions to the employees, the last step is going to be test your new signature. And here we tell them, start a brand new email. It'll have your signature in there and send that email to Adele or in your case, whoever the coordinator is that is sending out the template. And here's the trick. You have them add this tag on top of the subject line or in the subject line. Hashtag signature done. Or whatever tag you choose, the key is to have a hashtag there. And what that'll do is it'll make it easy to filter by that so you can start seeing all the emails as they show up as each employee does their signature test. So as the emails come in, we can search for that tag and see all of the emails right in one spot. So I'll show you how to do that search right now. So to track the emails that are coming in that have been set up with the new signatures, click up in the search, type in that tag, which is signature done or whichever one you picked, hit enter, and then all the emails will show up uh, as they're coming in. So you can see each person's name and the fact that they did it. Then you simply click on the email to open it up and read it to look at their signature to make sure it's good. So at that point, you've completed all the steps of getting your uh, signatures deployed. All right, so that concludes the session on how to set up the templates. There are links below in YouTube on how to get to the full article at the Network People site. And both in the YouTube and Network People site, there are links to the sample instructions and the sample templates. And those documents also include links to Microsoft's templates. So be sure and take advantage of those extra resources. So again, it's Hunt. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please leave comments below on how it worked out for you if there's anything else you'd like to see. And appreciate your time. Take care.